Welcome back. This is Ink, and in today's problem, we're going to apply nodal analysis to determine the voltage Vx. There is a dependent current source in the circuit, which might seem a little bit tricky. We know that we would put a node for reference, and we will select a terminal at which we will apply KCL. In this case, because the current source is there, it might seem a little bit tricky, but nonetheless, let's take care of that. We know that resistors in parallel have the same voltage across. So the three ohms resistor and the six ohms resistor has the same voltage across. So we could choose this terminal as VX. However, if we choose that terminal, we know that the voltage at that terminal is going to equal the voltage at this terminal. Reason being is that the voltage drop across the two ohms resistor is going to be the voltage at that terminal. And the voltage at that terminal, because they're in parallel, is going to equal the voltage at this terminal. So the voltage at, at both of those terminals is going to equal the voltage Vx. So let's just call this terminal Vx because the, the voltage, their voltages is going to be the same, or their voltage is going to be the same. At Vx, we apply KCL. So remember that at Vx, this is Vx also. So if we take Vx with reference to the 6 volt source, we will get Vx minus 6 volt because we're seeing the positive terminal of the voltage source. So minus a positive is just minus a positive. And that's all over the 2 ohms. Now Vx with reference to ground is Vx. So we get plus Vx minus zero volts with reference to ground all over the three ohms resistor. Now with the current source, we see that the current is two times Vx. So a current entering a node or a terminal is equal to negative. So we have two times two times Vx. Now Vx with reference to ground is the voltage at Vx with reference to ground, which is across the six ohm resistor. So Vx minus zero volts all over the six ohm resistor equal to zero. Bit tricky, but that is the only equation we need. Um, that is one equation and one unknown. So that's all we need. And the solution to that equation is Vx equals negative three volts. And that's it. See you in the next problem.